I have already told you about some of the most cursed books that have ever been written well, today I want to tell you about Roddy Skinner who is considered by experts to be one of the three most terrible black magic grimoires in existence. Specifically, it is Icelandic black magic. Rodskina is a legendary book one of the most powerful and terrifying black magic documents ever written. Its author was a Christian bishop and it says its main focus was to obtain the domain on Satan himself. But it's not just this point that makes it the charming Rodskina indeed is also linked to a story that many in Iceland they simply do not consider a popular belief that really holds true. Worth telling. Also known as the Book of the Power or the Book of Energy, Rodskina which means Redskin, in Icelandic came. So named because of its red cover in fact. On which runes were imprinted. Golden. Its content was represented by a series of rules and black magic spells, hence the fact that the author was a Christian bishop, was already rendering the document one of a kind. But what did the clergyman want to achieve with that work? Because he had dedicated some time to write such a dark text? The bishop was born in Iceland in 1469 and from 1496. Until his death he was bishop. Although he was a bishop his actions and the values of him were far from those that he should have preached in qualities of a good Christian. In fact he had two lovers and three children born in hiding. Beyond that he described himself as one ambitious manipulative person he cruel, he was much more interested in hers of his social status than to fulfill his function of Bon Bishop helping I faithful It was precisely his thirst for power which led him to explore black magic and probably witchcraft at the search for that formula that allowed to achieve domination absolute over others. But its goal went much further, in fact the bishop was determined to obtain power about the devil himself. If Satan had become a slave to him not he would have had more limits, he would have been capable of ruling the world. Black magic then becomes his obsession and devoted years to editing Rodskina. Nobody knows if he managed to fulfill his wish and conquer the much coveted power what it is it is certain that his death came buried with his grimoire. He had devoted so much time to editing of the same which seemed the most logic that his work followed him in the grave. However, there are no copies of the Rodskin to bury it together with its author it meant hiding it from the world for always. And this is where the dark story begins for most Icelanders it is simply a legend but for others an undeniable truth.
two centuries after the death of the bishop a man was born with the same lust for power of the high prelate. The man arrived at the school of the cathedral where he was was the bishop and studied magic. When man dominated the Granskin book also a dark grimoire but less powerful than the Rodskina he decided that the time has come to deepen his studies. He knew of the existence of the famous grimoire that could enslave Satan. He also knew it had been the same buried together with one of the bishops. To get it he would have to resurrect from the tombs all the bishops of the cathedral where they had been buried. Find the author of the library and force his soul to grant it to him. All could be achieved through a ritual, to bring it to term he asked for help from one of the students of the school. Arriving at the cathedral the adjutant began singing and reciting spells. At first it was not successful, then his song turned into a real one and own praise to the devil and it was in that moment that a spirit with a stick in one hand and a blood-red book in the other came out of his grave. He was the author of the terrible grimoire. The ghost does approached him and told him that he would never got the grimoire. At that moment its student yes scared and pulled the rope by mistake one of the church bells. The sound broke the spell as the ghost of the bishop disappeared taking with him the precious grimoire. It is said that the man died a short time after having lived that experience and that he never managed to get hold of the mighty book. Since then it seems that the text has disappeared and that from that moment no one has ever been able to recover it. What happened to the Rodskina? Where did you end up? He asked the correct question should be, did he really exist? Some say it was destroyed, but by whom? When? And for what reason? A mystery that maybe no one will ever be able to solve. So what is Rodskina really? A really existed grimoire that's gone lost? Or just part of a legend charming? Cause you can't stop it from shining through
have reached the end of this video, a special thanks to those of you who have made it this far and of course I just have to say goodbye and refer you to the next video. Be good.